Hey, what's up everyone? This is Phantom Phoenix from Dark Sparse Gaming. Welcome to a new video and Banjo is finally in Smash. It seems like it's been a long time coming and now that Banjo's in Smash, we're going to be labbing some combos, tips, and tricks. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So first things first, let's start off with some combo throws. I believe that up throw is probably the most go-to throw for Banjo. Up throw seems to lead into up air at almost any percent, it especially works good at low percents from what I've seen so far. Of course this character literally just came out so everything's still being labbed, but out of all the throws, up air seems to have the most combo potential, and end to up air seems to be the best combo that you can do with this move. So then we have up throw into up tilt, this one seems to be a little bit better than just just going for straight up up air as this gives you more percent you're dealing 30 percent here with this combo instead of dealing 27 but the up tilt it comes out fast but i'm not sure if your opponent will have time to air dodge with this because if you use this and you're too slow with the up tilt your opponent probably can air dodge out of it so maybe up air will be a lot better because of how much range the move has another weird combo is up throw in the nair this one's really weird because you can set this up into a tech chase situation where if your opponent tries to tech immediately on the ground you can go for side b to cover that because side b has a lot of range to it along with this we have four throw into side b this combo seems to be completely unsafe as your opponent probably can DI away from this but I kind of second guess this with this combo because the side B does have a lot of range to it so if your opponent were to DI away from you you may be able to still hit them or if they go for a tech you could probably just wait out the tech and then go for a side B as side B is extremely fast it has super armor and it has a lot of value to it as this is going to be one of your main tools with Banjo just breaking neutral and breaking zoners side B will be your best friend. Before we go and do some more combos, I want to go over a usage of side B, which is using side B to snap ledge. I think this is really going to help out Banjo players in the long run because you can abuse the super armor that side B has. So if someone's trying to punish you or contest you off stage, you can go for side B and instantly snap the ledge and then you'll just get right back to the stage. Playing Banjo and being able to maintain your feathers is going to be key to his playstyle because if you can maintain those feathers and know how many you have and you use the side B correctly for breaking rush down, breaking neutral, or even getting back to ledge where you're being contested off stage extremely heavily, or you can even use this to combo break. Like if you know you're about to get hit by an aerial and you have a little bit of time to start up that side B and use it, you can break through it with a super armor. From what you saw on screen already, Banjo has a down throw into down smash combo that is a deadly kill confirm. This down throws a bury, but it doesn't seem to have as much bury time as other buries in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, from my labbing at least. But the down throw has a good follow up, which is down smash, which comes out extremely fast, and at the ledge, it can kill opponents like Lucina at 90%. Because of down throws extremely low bury time, I suggest you go with up smash though because up smash your opponent will mash out a lot faster with this down throw so if you go for up smash you'll catch them when they come out of the jump. So this will probably be a little bit more reliable, your opponent's going to have to be a little bit higher than 90% but if your opponent's absolutely horrible at mashing go for down throw into down smash. A pretty neat situational combo I like with Banjo is back air on stage into forward air. This combo is really neat, but the thing about it is it's really DI dependent, so if your opponent is not doing DI towards you, the forward air all stage will not land, but if you can land that forward air, you're pretty much set up for an edge guard. Along with off stage setups, you have down B into forward air. Down B into forward air seems to be a little bit more DI dependent as well, because your opponent probably has to DI towards you for that forward air to land, and this is a low percent combo as well. The second forward air that's used off stage, this one will probably be really useful against people who have really bad recoveries. That'd be the only time I would go for that second forward air. But other than that, I would just go for the first forward air and then try to set up with an edge guard on stage. So as I'm showing on screen, uh, and what you guys probably remember from the Nintendo Direct that was shown earlier, is that there are multiple ways you can mix up Banjo's recovery. You can jump first and then use your up B like normal, or you can up B and then jump. There's just many different ways that you can recover with Banjo. You can even mix in some air dodges or use side B's super armor to help you get back to the stage and recover. Many different ways you can recover with this character. I don't think that'll be a necessary problem with when playing Banjo. 
but I do think that Banjo may have a problem when it comes to spacing. His neutral B seems to be very good for zoning in certain situations, even though the projectiles to me aren't as fast as I thought they would be. I thought they would be a little bit faster, the eggs that come out of Kazooie's mouth. But they do flinch, which is good, but they don't deal that much damage. So really where I think you're going to have to win is be able to bait and switch with this character. Be able to get in, bait someone to do something dumb, and then you punish it. And then maybe go for a little bit of zoning play style with your neutral B and get some edge guards with down B. I think ledge trapping is definitely going to be a strength with Banjo, with down B being able to hit people off stage and being able to set up for edge guards and neutral B. And not to mention you have a really fast down smash that's really good when it comes to range on this move. I think ledge trapping is definitely going to be something that's going to be a go for with Banjo. So moving along we have Banjo's neutral B. Now Banjo's neutral B is a little bit awkward. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be from its initial impressions from what I got from watching the Banjo reveal trailer for E3. But this neutral B, it's... I thought it was going to be very similar to that Mega Man's jab or his pellets that he shoots, but this move, it's very weak, which is fine because it flinches, but it doesn't come out as fast as I thought it would be. I think the only really real use you'll have with this move is for edge guarding. When using this move in neutral against people who have absolutely no range or any projectiles to counter you, yeah, this move will be decent, but outside of that, like, for chip damage, this can be nice, but I think what people are really going to get value out of for neutral B is the bouncing egg because that might be able to get some jank edge guarding setups on people who have weak recoveries. Now, of course, this is early impressions of Banjo, so of course, when this character gets lobbed a lot more and people see a lot more of what Banjo can do and find other setups and find other uses of how to use this character, neutral B may develop to be a much better move. So, my early, early, early analysis of Banjo. To me, he feels like a mid-tier character, but of course the character literally just came out a day or two days ago depending upon when you're watching this video, but to me, honestly, Banjo, he's a character that seems like he has potential. He definitely seems like he has potential. He seems like a little bit of how Duck Hunt is, um, and the fact that Duck Hunt was a character that just needed to be labbed and needed to be played by a top player to really unlock his full potential, and I think Banjo's going to be in that sort of same way because he has tools that are necessary to be good he just needs to be carried by a player that will completely optimize his potential okay everyone that's all i have for today's video i just wanted to put out this video so that way you all could see some quick banjo combo tips and tricks so that way you guys can completely just go ham with labbing with banjo and putting him in matches and testing different matchups and scenarios and see how these combos tips and tricks work in real games Okay, everyone, my name is Phantom Phoenix, and I'll see you all next time on Dark Sparks Gaming.